Hey guys, it's Dan Gage, and today I'm going to make a video by request. Now, a lot of you guys ask me to, to, to pick apart songs, and, and I usually say no, and I will continue to say no because it's, it's, it's very hard for me to, um, it's very hard for all of us to do videos by request. It, it sort of sets up expectations um, for us that, that we're just, from what I can tell from, you know, the other guys that make these videos, we're just, we're usually too busy um, with whatever we've got going on to, um, to, to, to meet your requests. And, and, and so we, we sort of, you know, do these at our own pace and with our own ideas. But in this case, I was, I was busy writing an email to a gentleman and, um, about a song that he asked about. And it was, you know, this morning I was trying to make a video and I, I just couldn't think of the right idea. And I, you know, I like to make videos that, that have, uh, different focus or, or my, my, my point of view and I put a lot of thought into them but but today I just I just was sort of reaching a block so um, this seemed like a good time to make one and, and, and today's um, song and is what he asked for is a help on this song uh, Mother Ocean by Jimmy Buffett and you can go on to YouTube just type in uh, Mother Ocean you'll find some uh, you can find this tune for yourself and it's got a very simple harmonica part and that's that's why I wanted to to talk about it today because a lot of us play blues, or we learn to play blues, and we, you know, we learn we learn our basics, and we learn, you know, how to how to play uh, the the one four five uh, twelve bar progression behind a band. But um, I've seen a lot of folks panic in non pure traditional blues situations, and for you guys that are just starting out, um, a lot of times, a lot of the same basics will apply, and it's very easy to play. Uh, very nice harmonica, very simply uh, over um, different kinds of music. Sometimes folk. In this case, it's it's Jimmy Buffett. Was you know he sort of was country and pop. I don't know exactly how you define his music, but but the point is, um, Greg Fingers Taylor plays some gorgeous harmonica, and it's very simple. And we can we can sort of work on uh, what he's doing, and I think that'll really um, be a good lesson. So let's let's hear the intro. And uh, here you go. Mother. Okay, so basic, right? Um, first of all, the song's in G, and it's definitely a C harmonica. I've got my Chris McCulloch custom C harmonica here to, to try and do this and I I literally just started working on this uh, about five minutes ago so I may not get it perfectly but um you know we're not here to spoon feed it to you guys you can hear if you have got some of the basics and the basic is really the root note so the same G root note that we're gonna use when we play over a blues okay um, that's the root for this so So you guys can put this song on, and the, for you guys who are just starting, to draw and just play the note as, as best as you can. You pretty much play it through the whole song and you'll, and you'll do okay. But the thing that he does that, that, that digs in, that says here's the harmonica, here's, here's, here's soul that I'm adding, is when he bends, uh, bends the three draw. And um, <clears throat> what it sounds like to me, and I may not be exactly right, but this is where we have to sort of listen and, and, and hear, it sounds like he's doing um, three draw, bent a half step, with a little bit of four draw mixed in, so he sort of opened it up. So I talk about clarity and single notes, and that's so that when you want to be clean, you want to be specific, um, that, that ability is very important. But you need to be able to be sloppy when it calls for it. In this case, it's an, it's a it's a two notes at the same time that sounds really 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 nice to me. So if I just play the three draw by itself, see how it doesn't have that sort of force to it so if I open up just a little bit and let the four in maybe a little bit of the two you hear it sort of like more of a chord where I'm bending it 
So then he takes it and he bends that three down, I think to the whole step, and resolves back to the two drop. <laughs> I can't tell if the three draw is natural or if it starts off bent a half step, but I think it starts off bent a half step. Let's listen again. Feel that? Yeah. And he kind of, he kind of, the second part of it, he kind of bends it down a little. Or, or he just hits it cleanly. So that's, that's what I'm talking about, articulation, guys. It's very simple. We're just on three draw and um, to draw, but it, it, it's, it's how you make it sound, it's how you make it feel. And it sounds like he's using his hands too. <laughs> Hear that bend? I don't think, to me, I'm not sure if we're playing the three drawn exactly naturally or not, but you want to play it with some force so it sounds like it bends down a little bit to get that nasty sort of growling sound. You hear it go down the three bend? Remember, we can stay on the root. We can play that lick that's from the beginning. Hear that? gets nasty okay and we can we can sort of work through some of those basic scales you know resolving on six blow six six blow five blow four draw okay put stuff together you gotta you gotta sort of play with it and hear it so let's play for a second let's see what I what I feel here uh oh there we go. Mother, mother, ocean. Hear those changes. That's me messing around, guys. Becoming comfortable, um, trying to hear vocal patterns, trying to see what happens if I play a blue, play more bluesy over it. You hear me do the, the shake. Um, I'm trying to find things that sound good to me and, and put my stamp on it. Now, here's the last point I want to make. Um, the, the point is that the beauty of the harmonica in this tune. Um, is that it only appears at the beginning and the end. There are lots of opportunities um, to play less harmonica for bigger impact than playing more. So I was overplaying because I'm sitting in my little practice space and I'm jamming and I'm seeing what's doing. And that's great, do that. But there are times when you'll go out in public and somebody will ask you to play harp and the most poignant thing you can do 
is played just the littlest bit, and that's what the beauty. This song is about the words and the feeling, and that harmonica comes in in the beginning and, and sort of sets a bookend on it, and then it comes in in the end, and that's all it takes. So, um, you know, work on hearing stuff like this. Work on trying to apply the second position. Second position fits very well over a lot of things. Um, work on trying to hear what the lyrics are doing and trying to make the harmonica do something like it. Um, can't really tell you how to do that because I learned so much by ear. But um, those basic scales, that pentatonic second position scale, um, again, watch Jason's video, will really help you sort of figure out what notes to play. And, and most of your blues licks, some of those basic ones that I told you about, like a two-hole shake from my last video, or, or just... Okay, that, that, that'll, that'll, that might fit in there, so you gotta listen to it. The changes aren't exactly always where you think they're going to be, but that's why you've gotta listen. And um, that's my take on Mother Ocean by Jimmy Buffett.